Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 81 for learning MEMS system in Django with React.js. In our previous video, we have seen that how teacher can upload, we have created the functionality, how teacher can upload the study material, see the study material for the particular course. Right here, we have added the button study material and he can see that uh, what study material that course have. Okay, so similarly, we will fetch the study material in the user dashboard in which user has been enrolled. So we have added the uh, we have added in the my uh, let's go to the teacher dashboard my courses in the django full course we have added the study material right let's add the study material in the flask also right so add here description and let's add this right here okay and remarks submit okay so now let's go to the teacher dashboard here we have a my course we will show the study material here right so let's open the let's open the <coughs> uh, user dashboard user dashboard and here we have a, a course my courses right so in the my courses is a uh, same as a, a student let's this one and i'll copy this okay and paste it here this one uh, this is a uh, teacher detail what is the quiz list and then study material okay so row.course.id right so here we are and this should be in the td actually this will not in the td this will be in the same td okay so here we are let's add here this is fine right now when we click on this this will show the same page like we have in the uh, study materials like accept the delete button right so study materials we will copy this okay we will copy actually let's copy the django lms uh, this one uh, front end uh, public uh, source component teacher study materials huh? so study materials copy and user paste here so let's open the study material here okay now we have this study material we don't we don't need this delete button right so let's remove this else uh, another another things we need right so teacher cannot take any action right he can see the title upload he can also see the detail title detail okay so let's show the detail also detail right and uh, everything is else is fine and when he click on that he can see the study materials right so but the thing is study materials he can see okay but study materials okay we need to create one more url user study materials hmm? so that user can uh, fetch the study material so we need to uh, this is fine let's course chapters remove this chapter remove this one remove this teacher courses uh, main where is the main component study material this is for user so let's open the main component hmm? study materials and this will be for the user so i'll copy this here okay so this will be here right and let's uh, study materials so we'll copy this and paste it here and we'll say user right and let's say study materials user study materials this name will be conflict this name conflict so what we can do import user study material no not this one not this one uh, where is the use this one import as user study materials this will not work i think let's add this one so we can see here 
user study material yep uh, let's rename this user study material and let's remove this and rename it rename this user user study material and this is fine right so okay so user study material user study material and we are passing this uh, user and in the url we have a user study material we'll call this the same but we'll just for the specific user we are fetching this so that we need to identify this why this url hmm? everything else is fine i think uh, in the main we have added mm, where we, we have added user study materials here we have added and in the user study material let's open the user study material user study material we are fetching the data and we are doing everything that we need right we don't need to show this add button right now let's go to here okay why we are doing this no we don't need okay so can't find teacher sidebar yes you will not find teacher sidebar anywhere because we are not in the user we are in the uh, we are not in the teacher we are in the user okay sidebar and this will be sidebar and this will be also sidebar right so if i check this and click on this here you can see that uh, this is assigned in the study material why this is showing the this is showing the action my courses user study material fine click okay it's fine now remarks detail we don't have detail any let's add the detail for this oh, we have added the detail are we fetching the detail uh user study material this is not this is this is not detail actually this should be description right so here we are okay description is showing now now let's open the teacher sidebar and let's open the teacher sidebar here and uh, my courses and oh not a sign quiz let's add here the study material and let's say study one copy paste this is the image submit and here it is showing now right so everything is okay and just we need to check this link that the link is no it not working properly huh so where is the link this is showing media slash this okay it's uh, not showing the url so how it's showing how it will show url let's see that what it will define us undefined right and if i add here how we are showing the image for that how we are showing the image in the uh, or at the home page let's see component and uh, home and in the image source we are showing this to detail okay this is showing the source okay user study material we need to show the okay this is actually taking the id and we need to just we need to just click on the link actually so when the user click on this link the file will be the file should automatically opens huh? so row upload 
if I click on the row upload let's add span here copy this let's add button okay and uh, we'll say file right or we can say simply download file right and then we'll say download file on click on click download file right and uh, here one moment this one this is this one is okay here we will add a row dot upload right and let's create the function here constant download file equal to and this will be file URL right and what we will do here window dot location dot href equal to file URL yep okay so let's click on this click here right so you can download this file okay now let's make it button class button button outline primary okay so download file right so let's make this uh, working in the teacher courses also right so here we have a component teacher study materials this is the file uh, what we need to do this one right and uh, user study material will create the function here here download file and here we have my courses this is my courses study materials we will create this function right so now if I go to the teacher dashboard and click here the my course study material you can down teacher can download this file right so here so everything we set up for the study material with the delete and add and student dashboard and everything so yes thank you so much for watching this video uh, let's uh, in the next video we will see that how we can show the result of the quiz of the student and the teacher we will see that how we can implement okay so thank you so much for watching this video thank you